Hey guys, um, what's up? So I thought it'd be cool for me to showcase um, this uh, Triad Maze uh, stuff and see the um, file inclusion challenge. Maybe just do a walkthrough on it, basic walkthrough. Um, I haven't done this, so we're just gonna be working on this together. I may fumble, don't laugh at me. <laughs> okay, so great. A right here challenge, uh, the challenges. Um, I, I'm starting from challenge three because I just want to get the ROC thing, RCE, the mode code execution thing done with first, as explained here, and um, we'll come back to this once. So this is what we have uh, from a basic start. If I just maybe passing something just to look at the errors that have been thrown back at me um, to see if I can find some information there to work with. I can already see that, yes, it strips off those slashes. They include, strips it off. Then I see that this um, file structure there. Then um, I see it looking for that in the challenge three, the PHP file. Then also I can see the include path being spelled there at me. So let's see what we can do. Uh, the the workaround uh, or what we'll be doing will maybe first I'll have to create a directory uh, or create a file that I can probably try to post into because I see this uh, would have allowed me if I'm able to post. Maybe I could try to put it in that server and see if I can get a callback from it or something or execute a command on that server. So I'm going to open my terminal, which I'll be working with. I'll just go back and uh, in here, I'll, um, what is in here? Okay, I'll just make a directory. I'll call this uh, file inclusion. Okay, I'll see this file inclusion. So I'll be working from here. So first I'll create a text document. I'll just call this uh, cmd.txt. Then I'll put in the contents uh, basic content in the uh, PHP stuff. So I'll just put the PHP um, basic call script, print, uh, let's execute the command, hello. I'll just execute the command, oh, let's host name. Let's see if we can do that. I already did hello, just to test, but I was gonna show you that, but I'll just go straight into executing host name. Then I'll pass this out and close this. So let me see if I can push this to the server and run this, see if it can actually execute another extension. Yes, EC exec host name. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm on a MacBook this time around, so and now exit this okay so if i list the content if i cut the contents i can see what is in there so i'm going to fall back to do i have python server here let me see can i host oh okay uh mac i have to do some stuff okay <laughs> let me see if I'll have to allow this. Okay, pretty much cool. I see it's hosting. Can I just reach it from my browser uh, on port 8000? So I'll split this terminal and verify my IP address. So I'll just do the uh, IF config. Maybe I can grab port 10. I'm not sure what it is, okay, 10.8. So copy this. Then I'll go to my browser, see if I can reach that server uh, on port 8000. Can I reach it? Okay, of course I can reach it, great. So that's just what I want to verify. So I have that thing running there and I'm hosting it, I see I got a hit from my server. Okay, great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Triagnis form and try to see if we can maybe use a technique to pass this on and see if that's going to load. So I'll fall back in here in this basic form. I'm just going to clean all this until the equals. So I'm going to pass my IP address. I'll just copy this. 
the file is cmd.txt then I'll pass this here then that file which I want to grab is cmd.txt let me see if I can post this if it's gonna work um, that didn't smile back at us pretty much fine but maybe we didn't pass we pass the HTTP stuff we did pass it and then that's in challenge 3 right so probably maybe something is wrong somewhere we're going to have to try that again and see if we can grab that uh, execute that command and grab that flag it's on port 8000 I'm sure that's my IP that's the challenges I see this triple slash here, I'm not quite sure about that. Um, maybe we can try to navigate to the... Uh, uh, okay. CMD takes a PHP. Something must have been wrong somewhere. Mm. I'm just going to look at this deep. Uh, see what I can do. Uh, the file equals then we're passing that argument there hmm. so this is challenge what if I change that to maybe the playground I don't know I'm just going to try that quickly uh, uh, I'll strip off up to the point where I have the PHP. I'm just saying. I know I'm doing this because I've actually set up purposes to view that. Or I used call. I think I used call to view where this thing is going to. So please, I'm not. I'm not actually bypassing some steps. I'm actually bypassing some steps. Uh, just to make this pretty short. So I'm going to pass this and see. Okay, that worked pretty fine. So I'm able to grab that flag, which is what they expect me to grab. So what I did initially was I used the, the um, curl method to view where it was going to. I think if I still have my burp suit set up. I will probably fire that up to show you guys. Uh, uh, then I intercepted the request and I found it was going towards that playground directory which was why I actually passed that then all the challenge thing that was there then I extracted the file from my server if I look at my server uh, you will see I got a hit from that IP address so it pulled the file executed the command and then um, extracted what was in the host command output and gave that to me so we got that one completed then we'll go back to the other ones so the other ones where I expected to capture a flag one flag two flag three a little bit complicated because i had some struggles trying to figure this out but we see it's telling us that we need to intercept and modify so that's exactly what we're going to do so let's see if we can grab flag one um what we're going to do at this point we'll be working with burp suits i think i'll use burp suits to do this to make it easy for us to also follow and see how that works and um looking at that um let's see so what we're going to do is we're going to fire our burp suits i hope it doesn't throw at me i can close this server i don't need this anymore so i've got burp suits running in the background i'm just going to uh, go back here i know it's a whole lot that has been happening so <laughs> yeah okay great so what we're going to do we set on that intercept thing um, so I can, but it's going to intercept a lot of other things happening in my, just because I didn't set up uh, the scope, switch it off. I think I'll just forward it once I grab it, then replay the action. So I'm going to come in here, start uh, proxying for all URLs. Then I'm going to navigate in my parameter flag. I will pass this time around. I'm supposed to go back to lab one. Fall back to lab one quickly. Oh no, the playground. Is it the play? Yeah. So um, just give me a minute, please. Uh, this was supposed to do from here.
So I'm going to copy this quickly and paste this here. I'm not actually recording with my uh, um, my box at home because I'm not at home. So please permit the noise. So let me just pass in something, just any random thing, and see if we get any error. Nothing returns as an error. So, but if I go back to Burpsit and maybe I look for the HTTP history, uh, I'll work with the IP address. I see this was challenge one. And, uh, and that was it. Okay, so I'm going to see. Yeah, this is what I posted. So I'm going to send this to a repeater. And I'll go to my repeater. So let's look at this deep because we didn't get any error on the um, screen. So we see this was a get request. So we're just going to make a few changes here. We'll change the get to posts. Then we'll strip off this file here then we'll pass the file somewhere below and um, that's going to look something like this so look at what is happening here i changed the get to a post i cleaned this up a bit pretty then i passed on a few more stuff so the referrer is coming now from that url encoded it's still the uh, dot dot slash dot dot slash uh, etsy flag one we want to grab that flag but we have to encode this then we want to pull out the content and see what it looks like so if i send this let's see um did that work um okay seem like it threw back the same thing at us okay but look here down at the base there we can see now the file content preview of so that command it was able to run successfully then we grab the code I think we we'll have to go submit this and track me. I'm going to copy this and go verify if that's the code. And flag one, I'll put that here. Okay, and that worked pretty fine for us. So off to the race uh, for the second flag. So let's um, look at ch uh, challenge two and see how that works. I'm just going to click on the link for challenge two. Um, okay, this doesn't look pretty much cool. Only admin can assess this page. So let's go look at our burp suit. I believe something must have been intercepted. Um, I'll forward this to a repeater so I can look at it. So I see that um, it's a guest request. And um, down here, the cookie is guest. Can I just change this to admin quickly and see if that's going to fly? So I'm not sure. I'm just going to forward this. So what did you return? Um, okay. Welcome admin. Okay, that works fine. This is an admin page. Get the flag. So which means we can view the page now. So what if we change maybe the cookie value back and, and probably see how that works. Uh, we can see the cookie is admin now. So can we just change it back? Maybe uh, I'll pass this one, two, three, four. Let me see if this is going to work. Uh, bypass the filter at the end. Let's see. Then I'll pass the flag two. Then I'll just use the percent zero zero to bypass that extension file extension at the back. Can I forward this quickly and see if this is going to return back the flag at me? Oh, great, that worked fine, excellent. So we grab this flag and um, we go to try hack me and send that and see if it's the flag. Oh, great, so that's the flag. So we've got a challenge done over to the third challenge. Okay, so let's go try the third challenge. We'll click challenge three. Um, this is what we have. It seems like we have to impute something here. So I'm just going to try that random thing again and see what happens. I'll post this. Any error? Okay, we got an error this time around. Uh, it's stripped of the slash. Then um, it's looking up for the content in the file. 
let me quickly go back to verb sheet. I believe I can close this. I'll go look at my proxy for that request. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's this one. I'll send it to a repeater. Then I'll analyze it. Okay, I think it's this one, yes. Maybe I can clean it up a bit and just change the post. Let me see if I can post. So I'm going to remove this just like we did in the first challenge. Then I'm going to change this to a post. Mm. Let me see if this is going to work. I don't think I need a cookie set for this. Although it's giving me a cookie set values. I think this was for the first one. I'm not sure. Is this challenge three? Why is it giving me a cookie? I'll, I'll send this and see what happens. Um, did you return anything? Nothing was returned back at me. So I should probably have left the cookie because I think if I could change that cookie thing to admin, without work, let me go back. Where is it? Proxy. Uh, I'm going to forward this again to repeater. I'll change this to admin. Then I'm going to strip this off. And use a post method. Let's see. I'll send this request. Um, hmm. File name. This didn't seem like it worked. Okay. This didn't work yet. I'm not sure why that didn't work, but I'm going to keep looking out for probably. Um, can we try the cookie value? We change the cookie. Can we try cookie value? Maybe that will work. I don't know. Or should it be looking at something that looks like the first challenge we did? Maybe that's what we should do. So put a post. Then I think I don't need the cookie per se. I can remove this. Then I'm going to just pass in a few more. Connection is closed. Okay. How about I can put a, um, maybe I can pass in the content type. Um, let's see. Pass in the content type. Then I'll pass in the value here application then maybe um, I'll pass in I'm, I'm trying to use the technique which had worked in the first example which we did X URL and code this uh, then maybe form URL and code let me see if this will work I'm not sure I'm just trying out loud then I'll pass in the file maybe I'll pass in that file uh, I'm trying to bypass this thing, I don't know. So the file, I'll pass in one, two, three, oh, sorry, five equals one, two, three, four, let's see, flag three. Then let me see if there is a filter for the extension. I'll just try to bypass it by passing that. I don't know, I'm, I'm only trying this out if it works. I'll be I'll be excited anyways. <laughs> Maybe real. Did that work? Oh, that worked. Excellent. Excellent. Post is working. Is that the code? Uh copying this. Then I'll see if that's the code. I'll paste this here. Wow, great. Okay, so we got that. Let's go with the math ticket. What did they give us this time around? 20 voucher e swag, one day strict freeze. Okay, fair enough. So next is the cross-site request forgery room. 